Hello, from ConsoleDiscussions.com. Sorry I haven't added a video in a while, guys, but uh, yeah, my video editing software has been acting up on me. I finally got to work, and hopefully videos will be added a lot quicker than they have been. I've been asked recently by a few people how to port codes, and mainly that's because of all the patches coming out for SOCOM. So uh, today, this video is going to cover how to port. It's not really all that hard. I have written a tutorial on it, and I figured making a video with a, you know, basically help you grasp the whole idea instead of just like text in a post. So uh, yeah, today we're gonna port the 1.5 version of vertical clipping, and as it says, it's not the true vertical clipping. This vertical clipping will basically push you into a wall. You can't exactly go right through it. You just kind of have to push yourself into it. It doesn't give you, like, the error 35 message, so you won't get banned from SOCOM with this one. So, basically, let's get started. You need two PS2 disc windows open. And you might it might help if you, you know, have it registered down here so that your first one just kind of pops up, you know. And that way it just kind of just keeps things in order. Just mine, that's the way I kind of do it. But, uh, yeah, first thing you want to do, drag your 1.5 dump into the first window. And you can put uh, 088 here. That will give you more detailed information about what you're doing and help you port a little bit, you know, more in detail. Um, it's mainly used just to make codes but you can port a little bit easier if you're an advanced user this would help but most aren't so we're just gonna click OK it's still pretty easy either way uh, next thing we do drag the 1.6 dump over here and then again just click OK now taking a look here at our uh, for clipping all we want is the address so just copy that now go to our 1.5 window and press G if uh, you weren't running v Windows Vista, it may be different. I'm not sure. A few people said it is. So you can just go up to Edit and go to Jump to Address. And then just paste the address. And then press Enter. As you can see, there is vertical clipping. It's an LUI. Take a look at the surroundings of everything. And then you want to go to your second window. Pretty much do the same thing. Press G or go to the Edit menu and find it paste it in there and then just enter. Now you're going to notice it is completely different. And I'm going to scroll up a little bit so I can view the surroundings. So you can see it's pretty much all NOPs, which means they don't really do anything. Um, the reason why we just kind of jump to uh, the same address is because usually with the patches like the codes are above the address and just continue increasing so basically if that's your code it could be above so it could be like 539 or whatever it could be pretty much anything above it's not always the lower val value address most of the time it's usually higher there are some cases where the value is lower and then you're pretty much just going to go in a loop and try to find it. So if you have some trouble at first, then kind of go back maybe like a couple thousand or so. See if that helps. Anyway, um, start off. We want to find a unique value that's not found anywhere. Now, 3F8 is used a pretty good amount. So, as you can see, it's already used a couple times here. We want to go for something more unique. Let's try this. It looks pretty random. So let's just copy the value. And I have made a port helper for those of you who are not familiar with porting. So it's found on my website, which is, of course, as you can see over here in the corner right here, consolediscussions.com. There's the link to it. Basically, all you want to do is paste what you just copied and then click the convert button and then as you can see it changed the code into the new code that you need so with the new value that you now have 
you want to cre press Control F. Now, just to let you know, Windows uh, VC users, it can also be accessed here from the edit menu. Control F, paste your value, and you see that little as hex stream box? You want that checked every time. And then just click OK. OK, as you can see, it's not found. So apparently that address, value, my fault, I'm half asleep here. Apparently that value is a little bit too random. So we want to find something a little less random and something to help us find the actual address of the code. So let's scroll down a little bit. And that kind of looks a little bit random. 13 seems like a random number. You would think it wouldn't be used too much. Um, that's also a little different from all the other ones since we're searching the surrounding area. I don't think that would pop up too many times. So basically what we want to do is just copy that value. And since I pretty much know how to, you know, port, I'm not going to use the port helper again. So make sure we're still there. Okay. Control F. And basically all the port helper does is pretty much switch around things. So it's going to take the last two digits and switch them to the front four times. But uh, once you get the hang of things more, you won't need the port helper. But it's always there if you do want it. So, yeah. For me, I don't really use it that much. So just do that. And as you can see from over here, you can see it pretty much matches the surrounding area. So what we want to do is we want to come back over here and jump to our address of vertical clipping. So we can take a good look. You may have to scroll up a little bit so you can actually see the surrounding area. So we're looking for is four NOPs and LUI four NOPs. And there's also LUI at the bottom and top. Up here there's three question marks. So all we want to do is scroll up until we see three question marks or some question marks and maybe some unique things. So wait, here's one, two, three, four, an LUI, one, two, three, four, an LUI. So this looks like the right thing. As you can see, three question marks, three question marks, four NLPs, and some LUI surrounding it. So we are in the right area, and this is our code over here. So, to get the code, it's the simplest part. Copy and paste. And there's our new code. Simple as that. Now, if you want the full tutorial and all the files you need to port, I have placed a link in the description so you can easily go pick up all the files you need and read up on anything you may have a question about. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll check on the next one. Peace out.